Hey everybody, it's Chris Lode here. In this screencast, I'm going to share with you how we can do a little bit of graphic design. And specifically, we're going to look at this International Human Rights Day um, logo. And we're going to sort of recreate something that looks similar to that. And we're simply going to use Microsoft Word. So this is an opportunity to use Microsoft Word, which is on all of our devices in our district and do a little bit of graphic design. So the first thing I need to do is I need to think, what do I need in order to create a logo like this? And really all I need is a picture of the world in the background. And then I just need one of these arms with the sleeve of a shirt sleeve on it. I'm not going to worry so much about the text part at this stage. I'm just worried more about the graphical part. So I just need one of these and I can duplicate those and rotate them into a different position. And I can also recolor them. So we're going to show you how you can go ahead and recolor a simple image, a clip art image that is on Microsoft Word. So the first thing I need to do is to go into Safari and I'm going to do a little search for the hand and I already have this set up and you can see I just did a Google image search for hand and when you do that I do a Google image search I'm gonna get pictures of real hands but I don't want real hands I want clip art so there's a button here sometimes that appears or you can go into the tools and then over here to the type of image and clip on or click on clip art. And here's the clip art hands. I'm uh, this one looks pretty good. And there's one a little bit further down, I think. Um, no, I think I'm just going to go. I'm going to go with this one here. So I'm going to click on this image. And here's the. Um, Here's the website where it is. So for, first of all, I need to make sure that I'm going to go to the site and I'm going to copy the web address and I'm going to put that onto my Microsoft Word page. Where's Word? So I'm going to put that down here. Um, so let's go back there. I'm going to go back one level and I'm just going to do a control click on this hand here. And I can just simply copy that image. Now, it um, thankfully, it's a transparent image. So we should be able to paste that without any background. So I'm going to click on Copy Image and then go into my Word document. Oops, there we are. Here's my Word document. I'm going to scooch down a bit. And I'm going to paste that. Now, a fairly large hand image. So I'm going to resize that, make it a lot smaller. Here, let's go down to the bottom. It's usually easier to resize from down there. I need to make that even smaller. There we are. So I have my hand image here. Now I want to attach a sleeve to that. So I can go up in here and I can go into the insert option in Word and click on shapes. And I'm going to insert this rounded rectangle first of all. So I'm going to make that rounded rectangle shape here. And I probably want to move it up maybe just a little bit. Now I can zoom in on this. So the zooming in option is down. Um, oh, I don't have it visible, but down in this bottom corner, you can see the plus and minus percentage. I'm just doing a pinch zoom with my fingers on the trackpad and that doesn't look too bad. So for the sleeve part, so this is going to be the cuff. Now I want to insert another shape and it's just going to be a straight up square rectangle over top. And I'm going to put that on top of there. Now I'm going to double click on that to open up the shape formatting. And I want to, first of all, I want to get rid of the line. So I don't want, or actually I can leave the line. It doesn't matter. I'm going to, I'm going to select no line for that shape. And then my fill color, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the paint can and I'm going to select uh, maybe just a gray. 
Oh, it doesn't look very good. Let's go with this light blue here. Uh, right there. Maybe that's a bit better. Now, I'm going to select this image, and I want no line on that either. Now, I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Come up here. So now, I've made the cuff and the sleeve, and it's all attached to the hand. So, here's the trick. First of all, um, get my cursor down here. I'm going to do a screenshot on my computer, which is Command-Shift-4. And I'm just going to highlight this region here and take a screenshot. I'm actually going to hold my control button down. And when I do that, if I hold my control button down and take a screenshot, it's actually not going to put the screenshot on my desktop. It's actually going to put it on my clipboard. And now I can just simply paste it. And there we have my picture that I just created with the hand. Let's make that. I'm going to make it a lot smaller. So now my hand photo, oh, everything is just going crazy in here. I'm going to move this down. So there's one hand. Now I want to make, maybe I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five of those. So before I move on, I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to change the color of the hand. So I select that. And actually, I double, I double tap on that image. And up here in the main menu, where it's, I'm in the picture format tab, there's color. And I can uh, click there, and I can change the color. So I can change the color to a darker skin complexion. And then I can also double click on that and change the uh, color of the sleeve. Let's go maybe with a green. Let's go with a darker green and change the shape or change the color of the cuff to maybe something a bit lighter. And there's another arm. So I've changed the colors. Again, screenshot, which is command shift four. Highlight around there, hold my control button down, let go, and I'm gonna paste it down here. So I've had I've made my second one. Get that. Oh my. There's my second one. <clears throat> Now you'll notice here, when I move this over top of the other image, the background of this image is going to cover up this hand. So I want to remove the background. So I double click on that. I'm in picture format tab over here. We can remove the background. So it's going to remove most of the white. And in fact, it'll probably remove some of the hand. So you'll notice the pink parts on the tips of the fingers, those are actually going to also get removed. So I want to keep those. So I click on this plus sign with the pen. I want to keep, these are the areas I want to keep. So down here, this cuff, I want to keep that. Oh dear, it's actually um, taken the whole hand away here. So let's have to redo all of this now. So I just have to highlight those areas that I want to keep the thumbnail. It looks like I've got it all. I'm not going to worry so much about that. Now, when I click out of that, and if I slide this over, you'll notice the background is no longer covering that other hand. I'm going to do the same thing for this hand. Go. Okay, so now I've got these two hands that are created. If you want the same size, we can just reduce the size a wee bit. There we go. Now I'm going to go back here and we're going to make a few more of these. So I've created another few of these hands and I'm going to rotate them. So you just have to click on them once, click on an image once, and then use this handle to rotate the uh, objects. And one interesting little trick that you can do with images is see how the thumb is down. I'm, maybe I want the thumb to point up so I can drag this handle here and drag it over over to here and so now my thumb is pointing up so we'll rotate this one maybe they're a bit tight so i'm going to move them out a little 
there we go and similar to what they have there now i just need to have that world uh, icon so i'm going to go back to safari i'm going to do world search for that again i want a clip art type of thing but look there's one right there that's pretty good so i'm going to first of all i'm going to go to the site and click the link where i got the, the image from go back here world image from there so let's go back to our world image click on our control click on it copy the image let's go back to our graphics click on that and i'm going to resize it down so now i'm going to move it over here now you'll notice i can't move it over there because it's a certain type of an image it's an inline image so i double click on it and up here after i double click on it i'll be in the picture format tab i go to the wrap text and you'll see it's an inline with text i just want to uh, i want to select behind text so what this will do is it'll allow me to move this anywhere but it will be behind everything especially other images and i can just leave it there so there i've got my world maybe make it a bit larger let's see let's go this way make it a bit larger there we go that's not too bad so now i have my hands uh, and i have all of and uh, coming together around the world and then i could also write the text underneath to add the text i'm just going to i'm first going to just type international human rights day and then i'm not going to put the date for now i want to maybe have a little bit of a background to my text so i'm going to go and find an image and in fact i've gone and i've searched for banner and i found something that looks like this i kind of like it and i'm going to control click and copy the image address put that into my list of um, websites where I have gotten my images from and then I will control click and copy the actual image. Now I'm going back here and I'm going to plunk that banner in here. Now you'll notice it's a I got to bring it up higher here now you, again if i double click on it uh, i get my picture format options i'm going to go to wrap text and again it's pasted as an inline image so i want to go and put it behind text and of course that's what i want i want my text over over top of it so i'm going to put my banner right about there maybe that's roughly centered hard to tell I made my banner a bit larger. Now I'm just going to move my text over to position it so it's over top of the banner. And I'm just going to click here and use my tab button to move those two lines over. I'm going to highlight them. So I'm, I've highlighted all of that text. It's a little hard to see. So I'm going to change the font color to white. Now I can see it a bit better. And then I'm going to change my font size. Maybe we'll move it up to about, we'll try 20, 24 is a bit large. Let's go back to 22. There we go. Now my word international, I want it centered a bit better. And maybe even my human rights. Whoops. There we go. That's roughly centered as well. Maybe one more space there. <clears throat> and if you wanted to put the date you could i'm going to leave it out for now and after you finish with that you can do uh, command shift 4 and take a screenshot of this whole thing
and the screenshot now is on my desktop as a PNG image. There you go. How to recreate a logo. It's not exactly the same, but it's something similar. And you can play around with it, have a, have a little bit of creative license in doing these types of things with uh, some of the skills and techniques that I've shown you in Microsoft Word. Thanks for listening and have a great day.